Hey everybody, Xbox Mod 360 here, and today we're bringing you a product review on Squid Grips for the Xbox One controllers. Squid Grips marketing team was kind enough to send us a pair of Xbox One controller grips to do a review on, so we figured why not. The first part of this video is going to be how to install the controller grips on your Xbox One controller. The second part is going to be a review on these grips. So without further ado, let's begin. When you first open the pack of Squid Grips, you're going to find a couple things inside. There'll be a piece of white paper that's the instructions on how to install these. There'll be two black grips, and there'll be stickers to put on the grips after they're installed, along with one large sticker that you can put on your laptop or Xbox 360 console. Before installing, clean any dirt or dust off your controller with a cloth. The instructions are extremely simple and straightforward, with lots of pictures and diagrams to show you exactly how to install the squid grips on your controller. The first thing you're going to do is use your instructions to determine which grip goes on the right and left. To begin, peel the white paper off the back of the grip you intend to start with, and avoid touching the sticky part as much as possible. You're going to line the small holes in the grip up with the crease in the side of your controller's shell and line the top of the grip up with the part of the shell where it begins to curve. This is the most important part of the process, so take your time. Once you have it, begin pressing down on all parts of the grip to push out any air bubbles and get a flat application. Make sure your grip does not overlap your battery pack. Wrap it around the back of the controller like I do and push down on all corners and points. You're going to want the flattest application possible so it feels best when holding the controller. Make sure the holes line up with the crack like mine does in the video. Once you have that completed, you're just going to repeat this process for the opposite grip. I'm going to speed up the video for the sake of time, but do not rush this process. Take as much time as you need to apply the grips properly. Once you have both grips on, your controller should look just like this and you should still be able to take out and put back your battery pack without the grips blocking it at all. The next step is adding the Squid Grip logo stickers to your Squid Grips. This is an optional step that will greatly enhance the look of your Squid Grips. They're very easy to install, all you do is peel them off the paper and stick them in the small indents that are made for them on the grips. There's two circular indents in the spots where I place them, and two oval indents on the sides where the crease is. They adhere very well and do not come off easily. The oval stickers also have their own indents on each side. Once you have the stickers on, your squid grip installation is complete and your grips are ready to use on your Xbox One controller. To test the squid grips, we had two players play a first person shooter for a total of 5 hours. To get their hands sweating, they played on the top sensitivity possible. At the end of the test period, both players' hands were sweating, but the player who did not have the squid grip had a very sweaty controller, while the player who did have the squid grips 
had a controller that was dry in most places where the grips were. In our opinion, the grips definitely serve their purpose and keep your controller dry. In addition, your controller stays much cleaner with less sweat getting on it this way. Our suggestion for squid grip is to make grips for your triggers too. This would be a great idea because those get very dirty. For performance and reliability, we give this product a 5 out of 5. For more reviews, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash user slash the Xbox Mod 360. To buy your own pair of squid grips, simply visit squidgrip.com. Thank you for watching this product review from Xbox Mod 360.